Right, here we have the EQL 14 final. Um, this game was played on the 11th of December 2011. Uh, it's between Fragomatic and Slackers, as you can see. Um, in the semi finals, Fragomatic defeated Crazy88 very convincingly, 3 uh, 0. Um, and Carapace, the Slackers semi final. Yeah, they actually played uh, me in <laughs> Sudden Death. Uh, the, uh, they didn't have Murdoch though, I believe Murdoch was uh, otherwise located, so he wasn't available to play these games. Uh, and uh, Sudden Death actually uh, made a pretty tight three-mapper, but Slackers came out ahead regardless in 3-0. to zero. But uh, they were quite fun games to play and quite uh, quite even, not uh, not uh, the rapey kind of games that uh, normally occurs. <laughs> cool, and um, I think Slack has won the previous EQL final to this, um, which Fragomatic, at least in this one, uh, weren't weren't in. Uh, it's a very strong lineup here, with Fragomatic with Nitra and Milton, <coughs> Laxap, uh, otherwise known as Pascal and and Rico. Um, so yeah, also known as Exterm, uh, can be noted. He's either Laxap, Pascal, or Exterm. That's norm normally the ones he, <laughs> he 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 moves around with. <laughs> yeah. Normally, yeah, but <laughs> in mixes he often takes other names too. Um, yeah, <laughs> in fairness, yeah. <laughs> okay, so if there's nothing more to add, we'll go, we'll go straight into yeah, it. Yeah, I, I can just mention that Slackers won the previous season in EQL 13 against Sudden Death. Uh, just a piece of history there. Uh, before I own Sudden Death, I can add. <laughs> 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 alright, alright. Cool, alright, three, two, one, go. Uh, so, yeah, the first map here is DM3 for this final, played at the end of 2011. Three, two, one, go. Alright, Recoil's got the first rocket launcher, we're gonna stick with him for a little while. Uh, he takes down Paradox with the quad. Yeah, very nice heads up play there. Uh, anticipating Paradox attacking in with Quad, or somebody attacking in with Quad. Wow, but he can't survive this possibly. Amazing wow, still alive somehow. Amazing rocket there taking out Dark immediately. Oh, yeah. yeah finally goes down. <laughs> Looked a little bit too good to be true there, so eventually going down. So we got Pascal with the uh, second rocket launcher. He's got armor with him. Yeah, of course. Pascal picking up the pants, so. Often times very easy to to secure, and uh, slackers actually opting to kill off um, recall there, so Laxap could pretty much pick up the second ro rocket launcher uh, uh, for for free basically. Uh, he had pant of course, but that's no, by no means an insurance to get a, a rocket launcher. Yeah, at least not to escape with it. Um, and then slackers in great position here to get this next squad. Zero takes it, gets mega. Uh, he's going for the lightning gun, I think. Wow, yeah, uh, Laxap just completely crumbled that quad. Uh, he just stood there and eventually got mowed down. Uh, looked a little bit uh, peculiar, but yeah. So Milton making his way, escape to Pent. Wow, oh, and he actually survives with 4 HP. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it's funny to see the uh, the angle of the rocket that he fired into the window there. You can see him as he's jumping, flying out. Um, yeah, briefly pack to extra. He takes it to this and he's getting flooded down, but uh, that's not gonna affect him. He's a lot healthier than I think Slackers realize. So they'll probably abandon that that flood. Yeah, really nice by Lex up there to just drop down and take the pack of Milton. Uh, really nice play. Wow, a key rocket there denying the only armor guy. No, nope, another armor guy coming in here. Wow. Oh, and and wow, he actually it. leaves a pack as well. He gets no help from his teammates. They're they're hellbent on getting weapons, and he is the only one at quad. And uh, that's a bit too much to ask from a single. Wow, and Milton leaves an LG pack at red. Yeah, he gets oh. picked up by Paradox's teammate, so no, no quad over over him. Even though he's got 39 cells, that could have been really handy back. Yeah, but uh, his team doesn't really have any weapons, so I can I can really understand why he chose to to leave that pack for a teammate. Uh, Alright, so let's see. Ooh, oh, he gets mowed down. To, to Nitra. Well, it doesn't go fully, but Rico comes in to try and clear up. But Dark is there, manages to land that rocket on his face. 
Uh, but they're still flooding down. Rico's one no means in a safe position here with 37 health. Does manage to get up to the red. Uh, the quad is coming in 7 seconds. Ooh, he's counting a lot of enemies, but that red arm is really uh, playing its true. Oh. I think Rico managed to escape. Uh, yeah, he, he took the mega at hill actually. Uh, he went to water uh, while Stack is still quad. Wow, Dorky gets an LG pack. Like, uh, from nowhere. Just a random pack laying around. And now he gets. Three cells. What? <laughs> <laughs> That never happened. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> stuff. So not really any way that um, the uh, Fragmatic could predict that Darky would never be in this position. No way. Like they're probably a bit puzzled how he can have uh, LG and so many cells at the moment. But yep, here he is. <laughs> so Fragmatic forty frags in the lead at the moment. And there being an enemy going to a red tunnel, his teammates are telling him. Yeah, uh, Fragmatic of course being a very new team, uh, one would argue that it was basically created to to give uh, Slackers a run for the money, like uh, no team has been able to do uh, in in quite a few seasons. So they kind of made Fragmatic to, to prove a point, uh, not entirely of course, they want to have fun and play Quake World, but uh, kind of felt like that at least. And yeah, so uh, Fragomatic being a monster team here and uh, probably a tall order for Slackers to take them down. But you can also sense that they're a, a relatively new team because their team play isn't really like uh, we've watched some uh, TVS games before. And uh, yeah, their team play was really significant and uh, yeah, not to the same extent right here uh, so far at least. Yeah, they're all great players, so they're all able to hold their own in one-on-one -on -one situations and work together with, with good basic team play principles, but uh, just not used to um, like a routine of, of uh, team play. Wow, well, first pant, and Milton gets it. No, uh, no don't, don't kill him, he has far too large of a stack. Uh, just go, but can they make it in and get the rocket launcher? The I'm not sure. He's got the LG, but uh, Rocket isn't spawning. Uh, 10 seconds for Rocket, it looks like. He tries to hunt down the quad, but encounters too many enemies. The quad manages to escape. Oh, very. Oh, nice there, pinning Paradox down. Uh, maybe he should have saved. Just knocked him into the water, saved a few cells, and discharged him. Yeah, well played regardless. Yeah, it's really denying Paradox's stack there. And meanwhile, Nitram has got a huge stack. Oh, and misses that last rocket, uh, but retreats with 100 health, um, playing it safe. Right. Yeah, this is the rocket launcher they didn't give it to Pan. Uh, yeah, so that's what I was like, yeah, don't give this <laughs> rocket launcher away. And they're trying to fend off, fend off all the enemies there to secure the quad. Goes to make sure yellow is all clear. Picks up the yellow. Where's he gonna go now? Does he think there's an enemy at Super Nail Gun? Exact dominance on the uh, red armor room, making sure that's all safe. I think they I think an enemy's escaped to SNG. Yeah, Zero is around there somewhere. No, he's the yellow now actually. But you see, uh, because Zero positioned himself at SNG Teller. Uh, Nitron didn't dare to go to the yellow side of the map. You know, he had to kind of stay put at red and didn't dare to move anywhere. And uh, yeah, basically, uh, like from zero, you're standing at SNG Teller, being a nuisance. He Nitron couldn't really. He was very limited in in what he could do there because obviously he can't give uh, give away red for free. Wow, zero getting denied here. Really nice positioning and weapon choice there by Nitron. Wow, and eventually it picks off zero and gets an amazing pack for Lax up there. Yeah, working out really, really nice with Natron and Fragmatic. They've got three rocket launchers to zero. All of their rocket launchers have an armor, plenty of armor. Zero being a bit of a pain in the ass there, not dying as quick as Nitron would have wanted. Oops, bit of a team shot there, so. Yeah, um. Nitram really paving the way for his teammates there, but having such good teammates, they can actually hold their own. So, 
uh, they managed to like secure rocket launchers and weapons and uh, and armors and yeah they're spawning <laughs> spawn fragging away now wow yeah. amazing pack there for nitrum 62 cells in his lg now no wow that's not that's not ideal not that's for us spawn frag yeah that's not happy with that and having to retreat back to yellow nervously staying to make sure the quad was taken uh, Mitchum shafting away. Uh, needs to get his health. Uh, Milton is still suffering. Uh, here he is, just coming into red from below. Um, but yeah, obviously no red for Milton. He's still on hardly any health. Trying to counter his paradox. Stifles any chance that Slag has had at a uh, attacker. Yeah, you can really see the routine here of Nitrum, uh, expert GM3 player. Yeah, one of, one of the best for sure. He yeah, really knows how to quad run on this map. Oh my god, the positioning there and... Wow, Darky perhaps jumping the gun a little bit there. He could have waited for Paradox to go down and, and told him what the situation was. Because had he waited, he would probably have made a, a safe drop afterwards. Because then uh, Nitrum would have thought that he was the only one there. Oh, Milton quad run. Countering just enemy rocket launcher after enemy rocket launcher. Spraying the sails all over the place. And not quite managing to take out the second one, so Slacker's still got two rocket launchers. Oh, there we go, he finds Darkies escaping to the Yeah, Milton actually leaving the the armor there for recall. Uh, normally not something you want to do, but he's just so, so incredibly sure about himself. It's uh, a lot of confidence. That he can make his way and survive across the map. Uh, we've got Striker. Oh no, Striker's been taken out. Striker made it to the Nail Gun and got a Mega. But uh, it looks like Rico went and cleared that up. Milton just needs a few rockets now. Uh, but the Pets coming up in Dark's composition, but then Milton goes out to get it. Yeah, He's wow. Using his <laughs> last timing. rocket. Yeah. His last rocket to. Uh, to, to knock him off the um, pen swarm, but now nah, he's gonna have to slowly make his way to the rockets. Uh, oh, yeah, no, super nail gun. Yeah, no rockets in that pack, and Milton was a little bit sad, but yeah, he'll make the best out of it. There he goes, securing the yellow. Uh, was uh, recently picked up though, so. Has to wait here for a little while. Uh, 100 HP is incredibly vulnerable. Uh, three rocket launch ro rock launchers to one on Phalagmatic. We're really uh, in quite a lot of dominance in this map quite consistently. Um, almost 100 frags in the lead now with half half the time gone. Um, Zero is escaping with the only slackest rocket launcher to defend. Uh, but he'll be out of the game for another 20 seconds at least as he makes his way up the lists. And even then, there's so many uh, fragmatic players around with rocket launchers that it's going to be tough for him to do anything. Lots of, sl lots of slackers lurking in the water there. Yeah, he didn't feel very cocky there when people are hoovering in the water like that. It normally means that they're looking for a discharge. So um, he's opting for the safe play and moving away. And I think he heard some reports about enemies at SNG, which was correct. Wow. I think he ate some splash from Milton's rocket there. Uh, perhaps paying it run back a little bit for the splash that <laughs> he gave to Milton earlier. <laughs> what Good. comes around goes around. Good attack by, by Zero. Resulting in Nitram so nearly going down, but um, unfortunately no teammates there to back him up. A few yeah, and you see, and you see, uh, if you check now, uh, Slagger has actually managed to get a couple of weapons. Even though Zero went down there without anybody dying, uh, it created a lot of space for Slackers to like set up camp at Yellow, because Nitram couldn't be there and at Yellow at the same time. Uh, I mean, he couldn't attack Zero and be at the Yellow at the same time. So it actually created a little bit of space for slackers, uh, but yeah, Fragomatic being very good, of course, recognizing that the yellow might not be secure as Nitron was at red with the quad, so they quickly fill in the, those gaps and are now in firm control once again. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, after an attack like that, the positive effects can be, you know, right over the other side of the map. Uh, it's a case of obviously 
the team attacking, recognising those positive effects, and the team defending to uh, recognise all their weaknesses and cover them up as quickly as possible. Good yeah, indeed. There from Nitram to uh, wow, a great pack here. It's in a real <laughs> Milton spawns here. Yeah, oh, that's that's pretty bad for slackers. Uh, like they have worked so hard to <laughs> to get back control, and wow, he most down recalled. That's unfortunate. But Zero has got red control. Um, he's in a battle now, but um. Yeah, zero at red. So Nitron's going to attack, and he's not got good. He's not got a good stack, and he's not got good position here. So all the slackers are at red, and, and Nitron has to retreat. Yeah, he thinks better of it, and it was a really good decision, valuing his life more than uh, attacking there. Yeah, if he'd have gone in, then we almost certainly would have gone down, and then there would have been only one rocket launcher on uh, Fragmatic. Yeah, so they're they're opting for a, a better attack at a later stage. So at this point, when they know they can't really uh, get into red, they're like securing uh, the ring part of the map, uh, or like over here at quad, and they're securing weapons for their teammates and like securing yellows. And you see, and now it pays off. Just working the map beautifully. Yeah, I mean that was the slackers' attack. Uh, with um, a couple of stacked up enemy, stacked up slackers coming in to try and put pressure on that quarter at the right time, but Nitram playing defensively, positioning himself around the corner, holding on to his life, uh, getting the quad, and maintaining the the favour in or uh, maintaining the balance in uh, Pragmatic's favour. Really nice rockets yep. to deny the enemies coming in and attacking him, but he's gone down to three health. He'll be lucky to get out of this. Oh, <laughs> no way. He has to die. <laughs> he has to die now from the slackers. They must recognize. Oh, no, it's Pant actually coming up. Yeah, uh, that's, this must be why slackers are gone. But Rico yeah. takes it. The saving grace there for Nitro. Wow. And he's actually still alive. That's completely unheard of. Rico with the purple glow of Quad and Pent. Yeah, I must commend though, uh, Slackers on their efforts. Uh, of course, uh, facing a, a really beastly team here in Fragomatic, and they uh, really worked the map nicely there. Uh, they like didn't uh, they didn't they didn't, they didn't uh, get shut down at water area. Uh, rocket area for a long amount of peri a long period of time. They were more like, um, yeah, using the map to their advantage, like creating some chaos at SNG and, yeah, using uh, like uh, more uh, angles and shots. So yeah, yeah, and they they got together for a well coordinated attack. I mean, they they got the red control. Uh, wouldn't say that was necessary for an attack, but um, yeah, they got the control and they held it. They were almost on a map. They almost would have taken Ooh, that back. Wow. Oh, wow! That attack by Milton. <laughs> wow. How Sweet. did he get that much speed? I have no idea. <laughs> Dark in disbelief. <laughs> yeah, Milton actually got the, get the packs. So. Uh, <laughs> a bit annoyed. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, Saka's got red control for a while, but it was a smart play when in a crucial situation there where Nitron decided not to attack and to pick a different battle. Uh, wow, just on picking in and picking Paradox off there. Really nice play. Like in this high caliber game, uh, you can see people abusing the map a lot more, like using angles and getting favorable exchanges when, uh, when they have their attention elsewhere. It's just uh, a pure, pure beauty to, to see. Yeah, especially when you understand everything that's going on and what all these top caliber players must be doing. Yeah, wow! Amazing LG there by Zero. Wow. <laughs> so hard to <laughs> to shoot LG when you're flying that fast through the air. But he, he pinned Rickle down really nicely there while Rickle had a superior stack and looked really good for the quad. And uh, with the quad, but uh, yeah. Just those sneaky plays, clutch rockets, really nice aim, and yeah. 
Yeah, it was an interesting like calm before the storm though, where no one was actually sitting on the quad point. Oh, Darkie's rocket was close. No one was sitting on the quad point, uh, and then it spawned, and then there was a little lull, and then suddenly people were going for it. And then Tremor Count is zero, but takes him out before he can pick up the cells. Uh, yeah, no one was going for the quad, and then kind of everyone rushed towards it, and there's yeah, a huge, huge, fast battle, intense. Yeah, this is such high caliber play. Uh, it was so unfortunate that Murdoch was. Wow! Oh, sweet. Sweet job there by Paradox. Uh, wow, but Darky kills everyone with teammates. <laughs> uh, at least two of them, it seemed like. Can he pick up Lexa? Wow, yes, very nice. And he actually gets a pack, but he takes the pack. Oh, and Milton Rocky jumps up. Why? What? what? Oh, okay. <laughs> he must have misread that situation a little bit. Really <laughs> nice by Darky, though. He's actually taking out two rocket launchers uh, from uh, Fragomatic now, here at red. Uh, it's quite difficult to attack into red, though. It's a fairly easy position to defend. Yeah, really nice play from Darky to uh, to get that to get that control of the red. Um, yeah, obviously with Milton kind of giving away, well, just putting himself in a ball position for a second, maybe not realizing what was going on the other side of the wall. Uh, see where the Darky is kind of capitalizing this by getting this cord. Nitran wants it with his lightning gun, but it's not enough. And uh, Striker gets it. Nice quad rocket to take out two at the same time, but oh, but it's taking too much damage. 3 HP. Oh, he will never make it. No. <laughs> yeah, all, the, all those. I mean, those three shotgunners the other side of quad. That's gonna take its toll. You know, they're gonna be able to get hundreds of health off you very, very quickly. Especially when they're of uh, you know, the caliber that these players are. Yeah, they won't miss any shotgun shots. Not on long range, at least. And uh, wow, yeah, this was an intense game. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to get the last, last kill in the water there by the give board as well. 271 to 143, Fragmatic with the first map over Slackers in this best of 5 EQR 14 final. Yeah, a really impressive play. It's so unfortunate though that Murdoch didn't attend this game. I can't stress that enough. Uh, Would have been like, I mean, they're playing at an incredibly high caliber as it is, but if uh, Murdoch would have played, it would have been even higher because, like Paradox and Zero and Murdoch have played together for so long, they have so such good team play and coordination and uh, know each other so well. So uh, yeah, that's a bit unfortunate, but I won't keep harping on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, a few good moments. I mean, I I don't remember much from the first kind of ten minutes. That was mostly uh, Fragmatic just kind of exerting general control and dominance. Uh, there's a bit where Milton was down to one rocket um, and Penn was spawning and he jumped out the window and landed the rocket to, to force the enemy that stood on the Penn spawn away from it so then he could then land on the Penn. Uh, that was a pretty crucial moment uh, with the timing. Um, yeah, Nitron's uh, quad runs, uh, like just fragging away like crazy. Really nice play. Yeah. And to see Milton bottom fragging is just, yeah kind of goes to show you what what the caliber is on, on this team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't see that often, do you? Um, no. There was... Uh, <laughs> Sla don't. Slackers made a really good... Um, they grouped at red, and then they used that as an attack quad. But Nitram had, had pulled up and played very defensive, very smart, so that he had the final say in that battle um, to actually get the quad after the Slackers' attack. That was with about six minutes left, so it was kind of right there. The game was probably lost by that point, really, but uh, that was their last kind of big joint attack, I think. Um, yeah, and I think that uh, that strikes me a little bit about this game is that Slackers they they played it well. Uh, they had a good <laughs> good team play, and they played it very well. And it would have been enough against most teams, but uh, not Fragomatic. Cool. Okay. One nil to Fragomatic. Let's move on to the second map of this EQF 14 final.